Good morning, y'all. Rise and shine. I am using my southern voice this morning because we're going to talk about uh, when Dave and I lived in uh, North Carolina and something I, I did there. Now, we, uh, we were both born in New England, but we lived in North Carolina right on the coast for 23 years. So, howdy, y'all. It feels good to say that, actually. <laughs> I, I'll say, hey to people and uh, rather than hi and they're like what do you mean hey and um, that's just common so um, so don't take offense if I if I uh, see you and go hey that's that's just like hi in, in North Carolina so anyway I'm getting off track already look at that so in North Carolina we lived in New Bern it's about 45 minutes from the coast and I worked for WLOJ Christian Radio and um, it was it was a great job i enjoyed it very much going out and meeting different people and um, i've been told that i'm a natural salesperson if i believe in something i can sell it but i have to believe in it but radio advertising was hard it's the hardest thing that i ever had to present and to and to sell to anybody and i think part of that reason is because when I had the customer sign on that dotted line, I was not leaving them anything tangible. There wasn't product that I was leaving on their shelf. There wasn't um, any type of service that I had done for them. I was leaving them a promise that I would write their radio advertising and voice it over for them in a way that people would listen and then come to their shop and then it was up to them to be the salesperson <laughs> and uh, a lot of the people would say WLOJ I've never heard of that station before so I would uh, in, invariably ask them if they had a radio and I said well you haven't heard it if you haven't tuned into it so why don't you grab your radio and then uh, let's tune in so I would tune their radio for them to, uh, to WLOJ and they'd have a chance to hear where their, uh, where their commercial, where their advertising would be on. And um, that was pretty cool. Do you know, listening to the radio is a lot like listening to Jesus. And selling radio advertisement, I'm not selling you Jesus. I am sharing with you about his love, about his grace. But when you first accepted Jesus as your savior, you might have been given a Bible and maybe some suggestions on where to read to help you uh, begin to learn more about Jesus, about what you had just done. But you weren't handed anything tangible, were you? You weren't given a heart that you could actually put into your heart. You weren't given something that um, you could wear. Now I wear a cross all the time, but if I wasn't, it wouldn't change my relationship with Jesus. So when you first accepted Christ as your savior, you probably weren't given anything tangible or were you when you're hurting the peace that only jesus can give is very tangible when your car breaks down on the side of the road and you pray that someone someone would stop and help you that person who ends up stopping and changing a tire or going to the gas station and bringing you gas, that person is very tangible. When you're at the end of your rope, distraught over financial issues, relationship problems, whatever your situation is that you're going through right now, at this very moment, Christ's outstretched arms and his hands that are catching every tear before it hits the ground, that 
is very, very tangible. Whatever is important to you is important to Jesus. He's always near, always near. Listening to Jesus is kind of like listening to the radio. He's always near, he's always speaking to us, but like the radio station that my customer never heard, if you're not tuned in to the station, if you're not tuned in to Jesus, or maybe there's so much static around, so much noise going on that you're not able to hear him, it's time to get rid of that static. It's time to get rid of those things that are causing you to listen to something other than Jesus. Have these other things drowned out the still small voice of your Savior? If there are things that are drowning out the Savior's voice, it's time to turn the radio on to the right station. It's time to turn your radio on to Jesus. I've got a, um, a special song for you today, and um, I hope that you'll bear with me. It's a brand new song for me, but it's really catchy, and I'm hoping that it'll re remind you to turn your radio on. How are you going to do that? 
You're going to spend time in prayer with God. You're going to read his, his word. That's how he's going to speak to you. So before I leave you today, we're going to have just a moment in prayer together because I want to pray for you, you right now that are having issues, whatever they are. Because remember, what's important to you is important to your Savior. Okay? So you guys at home, at work, let's pray together right now. Dear Heavenly Father, how I thank you so much for each and every person who is listening right now on their phones, listening through their radio. Father, I pray that you would touch them in such a special way. It could be that they have been Christians for years and have just, their, their radio just has lost that fine tuning. Father, maybe they're brand new Christians. Help them to find that station. Help them to get into your word. And Father, I pray that you would make yourself so tangible to each and every person right now. I pray that whatever their issue is, that they would bring it to you, Father. That they would know that you care and that you can answer in a very, very tangible way honest way that will result in glorifying you and their their prayers they're just going to see them being answered father i pray for peace for each and every person and i pray that today is the day that they fine tune their radio and hear from you in a very very special way we pray in your holy name amen you guys have an awesome day and I will see you next time. Don't forget, turn your radio on.